Hello everyone, a very short video here, but worth a quick look. This shows the Alvis Storm Sam system intercepting a Russian drone. Given the speed of the missile, it isn't using Star Street, but rather the Martlet missile, also known as the LMM, or Lightweight Multi-Role Missile. Ukraine uses the Stormer a lot in this role against drones, and it has done a great job, becoming one of the key lines of defence against drone attacks. We've seen quite a few videos now of the Stormer and LMM taking out drones, not only drones like the Orlan 10, but also Shahed drones. One of the reasons for its success is that it has the ability to ride a beam, not requiring a hard lock to function or relying on heat signatures to reach its target, as drones typically have a low heat signature. It's guided by an advanced electro-optical system, making it very precise and accurate. It has a range of up to 8 kilometers and can travel at Mach 1.2 and is very maneuverable. Its maneuverability making it very effective against small, fast-moving targets like drones and helicopters. Despite its ability at intercepting drones, it isn't foolproof. We've had two videos now showing stormers getting hit by lancets, while observed by spotter drones. But overall, the system is doing a good job in engaging drones. Now, some may criticise the cost-effectiveness of using a relatively expensive missile to hit a small, cheap drone. But the cost isn't so much the drone system, but the damage it would cause if it was, say, an armed drone like Shahed and it reached its target, or the damage caused if it's a spotter drone like an Orlan 10 and called in artillery on its target. That's why it's worth using a missile on them. Unfortunately, only about six stormers have been sent, and two of them have been hit by lancets, likely damaged. So hopefully more can get sent. The Martlet missile though can be fired from man pads and apparently quite a lot of the man pad ones have been sent as well. This occurred in Avdiivka and because the video shows the Stormer's launch point, I'm not going to show the geolocation exactly, even though it has been geolocated by somebody online. But here's the location of Avdiivka as shown by Deep Stasis map. So it's on the eastern front, an area of high activity at the moment. So it's no surprise that Stormer's proven to be effective against drones, are deployed here to defend against them, as this is right on the front line, an area of high activity. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care, everyone.